Hey guys, welcome to the channel. I appreciate you being here as always. Today I have another science experiment for you. Today is how your grip affects ball speed. So one of the things you'll probably hear if you've ever watched YouTube videos or you know looked up tips of any way if you're a beginning golfer or an average golfer is they talk a lot about grip and it's something that honestly let's be real most of us roll our eyes at and say okay yeah grip i know it's important you know i've looked up kind of how to do it um, a lot of guys i talk to you know they just kind of figure out what feels comfortable to them and go there i've seen guys use baseball grip and and all kinds of things from there um, but really i wanted to show you how the grip actually affects your ball speed whether you have it neutral whether you have it you know standard whether you have it strong because um, it does make quite a difference but i wanted to actually give you numbers to show that but i also just kind of wanted to show you how fickle this game really is a lot of guys get really upset when they're playing this game and you know if they're not perfect they hold themselves to really high standard you know most sports whether it be football soccer baseball basketball they say oh it's a game of inches well golf's a game of millimeters and centimeters i mean it really is even the slightest offset in clubs causes your ball to go 10 15 yards left or right everything matters so it's really important so what I'm going to do is I have my Swing Caddy 300i launch monitor. I've got actually a Titleist Pro V1 here. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of show you what the ball speeds of each of these are. I have a 7 iron. This is a Mizuno JPX 921. Um, and it is lofted roughly about 29 degrees. So it is a very strong lofted 7 iron. That's how most of them come these days. Um, so let's just jump right in here and see what we do. Now the first thing I'm going to do is just your standard grip, which essentially if you have it there, instead of the thumb being right down in line with the shaft, it's just going to be slightly slightly over. I'm showing two knuckles. That third knuckle is kind of starting to show its face, its eyeballs a little bit, but nothing too crazy. I'm going to put the ball down and get it kind of aligned here. And let's just hit it and kind of let's see what we get here. Well, I pulled it a little bit, but let's see what we got. Okay, so not bad. We're looking actually, that was about 106.8 miles per hour, 163 total yards, 164 basically, and a launch angle of 15.8. Now that launch angle is low, but that's kind of my standard grip. Um, so all those numbers, 1.3 smash factor, that's, that's just a standard swing for me. It was actually a pretty decent hit even though I pulled it. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and hit another one here just to kind of show you. I did pull that one, uh, so that could be part of the issue. Yep, go same there. Whenever, whenever you pull the ball, essentially what you're doing is, is you are closing the face a little bit more, so you're gonna get more ball speed. Uh, you're gonna get a little bit lower of a launch. Yeah, so roughly about the 98 mile an hour region is if I hit it kind of normal. That one was a little bit off the toe, but still um, roughly about 150 total yards. That's normal. 16.6 .6 on the launch angle, a little higher, uh, but that one was more straight. That first one, like I said, was pulled. Um, so that's kind of your difference there. So with that being said, I, most of the time from what I see, I get about 100 to 102 miles per hour uh, for just that normal grip. So now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take the, the, my normal grip and I'm actually gonna go over, I'm gonna go a little stronger to where I really show that third knuckle now. So instead of that knuckle just kind of peeking its eyes through, now it's just full blown shown. So now I've got this, this is a very strong grip and definitely was gonna have a draw on it. I hit it straight. Yeah, so 104.4 on the mile an hour. Uh, 155 total distance, 19 degree launch angle, so uh, it was actually a little higher than usual. Must have hit down on it quite a bit. Again, nice and strong here, really showing that third. Oh, that's just ripped. Boy, that feels good. All right, so 109.8. 167.2, 17 degree launch angle. So kind of that mid launch angle. But when you look at the 109.8 mile an hour ball speed, that's significant. Uh, 82.3 on the uh, the swing speed. So that's right in line with what everything's been. Um, that's, that's phenomenal. But again, 167, whereas with the neutral grip, I was getting about 150. So you're talking a 15 yard difference. And where that comes from is it comes from launch angle. It comes from ball speed, having a draw on it versus more just kind of a straight up and down. Um, and to show you this further, I'm going to go ahead and now do the neutral grip, which is going to kind of have a fade tendency. Uh, so a fade tendency. So what I'm going to do with this grip is I'm just going to put it kind of my thumb straight down that shaft. There's really no offset here. 
uh, club kind of just lined right at the target. Most of these, you know, uh, uh, forgiving clubs have a little bit of offset where their face left just to kind of help you hit a draw a little bit more. So now I I've got my face right at the target. This is definitely going to fade a little bit. All right, so with that one, so that was a nice fade there. Now, 95 mile an hour ball speed, 142 yards of distance, which seems to be right on. Um, and then of course, a lot, a little bit higher of a launch angle, you're adding a little bit of loft. So when you look at these numbers here, basically this is what you're getting. When you hit a neutral grip and you're hitting more of a fade, you're looking about 95, 96 mile an hour ball speed. That's what I get on a fade. When I do a normal one, I'm looking about 100 to 102. And then when I actually close it and use a little bit of a stronger grip, I can get all the way up to 107 mile per hour ball speed. And overall, a fade might go 140 for me, a draw might go 165. So with a seven iron, if you're not 100% confident on your grip, if you kind of change it, you're not really in that mental state of, okay, where am I putting my thumb every time? What am I showing? You know, How many knuckles am I showing every time? If you're not consistent with that, what ends up happening is you've got a range of 140 to 165 yards with a seven iron, or it might be different for you, whatever it is, um, but that's significant, guys. That's the difference between hitting a green and not hitting a green. That's the difference between the front of the green and the back of the green. And when you're getting better and you're, you're lowering your handicap, you want to be able to dial in those distances a little bit better. And that's why grip is really important because not just for the fact of, of what you're doing, but for the simple fact of ball speed, you want to make sure it's consistent. And a lot of guys don't realize that. A lot of guys just kind of go up, they put their hands somewhere in the vicinity and they're like, yeah, it's somewhere in there. Really get an idea on your grip of where exactly you're placing your thumb, how much you're turning your hand over, because it does make a huge difference. Now, for any of you seasoned golfers out there, you may have noticed, hey, Nick, you did a neutral grip. You might have done a more of a normal style grip and you like maybe a mild strong grip and then you did a strong grip, but you didn't do a weak grip. So if you're uh, bonus points for that, if you notice that. So I'm actually going to go ahead now and show you that as well. I don't recommend really most of the time any average to beginner golfers use a weak grip. Most of the time those guys struggle with a, a slice anyway, so you're trying to get them to go stronger, you're trying to work on that. Um, this type of grip is usually only used by guys who really can work the ball. But again, so weak is, you know, if, if neutral is right down the center, essentially what's happening now is you're, you're, you're going even inside that. This club is completely open-faced, basically uh, open-faced roast, roast beef sandwich. And then if I hit one like that, again, in the mid-90s uh, for your, your ball speed, very, very high launch. Uh, that ball's really going to tail off. You're going to lose a lot of distance about, you know, in that 140 range also. So again, you know, it, it just it just goes to show you how much difference there truly is in these shots. Um, and it's very difficult because, again, it all depends on, I mean, golf is such a fickle game. It depends on where you hit it on the club face. It depends on how you swing, your swing path. All these things matter. Um, but just by simply changing your grip a little bit, it could be the difference between you hitting 140 and 165 with the same club. Guys, as always, I appreciate you being here. Keep watching to keep saving, keep learning, and uh, we got more ball reviews coming up soon. Bridgestone, we're finishing out and then going on to Wilson. Thanks. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, guys. We're almost to 1,000. I really appreciate it. Uh, much love. You guys are the best in the industry. I really appreciate it, and uh, until next time.